Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're doing swell. Today we're talking about Doc and D Dozen, but not super snarky. I'm sure we'll snark a little bit, but it's not really. She did something with Big Brothers and Sisters, and someone made an awesome comment on Reddit uh, about the whole situation, and I'm gonna cover it, and me, it, you know, took me down a little a route. And we're going to kind of look at what's been going on in the channel, what these kids are dealing with. Unfortunately, I have to show you their faces today because of, she does a roll call and you just see their faces. And you need to read the comments of the people that are still standing up for these types of people. We're going to go through a bunch of videos. Maybe we'll find one to snark on or something. We'll see. But let's get to it. So if you're new to the Dr. Dozen thing, no, you're not. That's why you're here. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you this roll call video. Generally, I don't show the kids' faces, but I'm gonna have to show you them today because I need you to see. She's been doing these roll calls forever. Okay, it's one of the big things that got her big. Like the roll calls are like, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite this? Where's your favorite place to go? What was your favorite memory? This thing we just filmed. What was this and that? And the kids never ever seem to like it. Like the younger two, they don't mind. But it's getting crazy to the point where like these kids hate doing this. And you know, Alicia's probably done this 15 times because she's got this, she always does these with like a, this really, really ragey angst in her voice. Like these, it's like, it's like the 10th time they've done this and she's over it. But this is what I'm talking about when I talk about forced coercion into doing videos. Do you think these kids after watching this want to be in these videos? And if body language is an indicator of consent, None of these kids in this video, except for the two tinies, are giving any form of consent, even though they can't anyway, because they can't give informed consent to this stuff. Alicia seems to think that she's doing better, but she's not. She hasn't changed anything except for the fact that maybe she doesn't talk about their diagnosis as much, but she doesn't have to. She already gave you all their diagnosis on the internet and never took those videos down. So I'm gonna show you this video today. I need you to look at their faces and you tell me if there's consent given here by, um, by all of them. And it's not, it's about a couple of them, yeah, maybe. You can tell the kids who are her favorites too by the, ex by the reactions of the kids in these types of videos. Just watch. But he doesn't age roll call. Alex, how old are you? 17. James, how old are you? 16. Patrick, how old are you? 15. Deshaun, how old are you? 14. Bree, how old are you? 12. Zoe, how old are you? 11. Dash, how old are you? 9. Jordan, how old are you? Nine. Jason, how old are you? Nine. Bodie, how- Hit the one kid. Do you see one twin who's like rolling his eyes at the end? How old are you? Seven. Harley, how old are you? Five. And also, like, I got a bunch of haters coming at me like, why don't you blur videos? I blur most of the time, but it's not my responsibility to blur the kids. I just do it because, you know, I'd like to once, you know, I'd like to mostly do it, right? And again, once Alicia takes all of her kids off the internet and she restores that and gets them off, I'll remove my videos like I always said I would, okay? I'll do it. So, uh, you know, there's this big argument that like I don't blur faces anymore, but you know, and I'll give you an explanation of sometimes why I don't, but generally I like to, okay? I'm not gonna get it right every single time. Sometimes we miss a blur here and there, it happens. But it's not a rule of the internet that I have to do that. It's just a courtesy that I extend, just so you guys are aware. Anyway, so when you see this video, especially, so, you know, more than half of these children don't wanna be in this video, but the ones who are the most favored, Right, you can tell like Alex and Deshaun who get like a new phone every five minutes, they get like TVs and everything else, they get cars and all this kind of thing. You can tell the kids that are her favorites and you can tell the ones where she's like, oh, what's your age? Like she's gotta stop doing this, okay? It's getting ridiculous and these kids are grown out of it already and like, the same with like the lunch pails and the things that she does all the time. Like, are you sure Alex has taken a, a lunch pail to school with his name in Comic Sans on it? Are you sure? Like, it's just the lies that we're sick of. We know that you don't do that. We know that when you put a toy or a, an object in one of the kids' lunches that's funny, that you just take it out before they go to school. Because you know they don't. Why does she lie so much? Alicia is showing something that she thinks she wants to be or wants you to think that she is. And she absolutely isn't. Here are the things that Alicia lies to everybody about, basically. When she wakes up in the morning, she used to say, oh, I'm up at four doing all this stuff. And it was like a big thing for her to be like a mom of 15 up at 4 a.m. And then she got called out for the time. It was a clock gate thing that happened on Doherty Dozen, okay? She got called out, then the clock disappeared for a little while. Hmm, interesting. Then a clock gate part two happened. But she lied about that stuff because she wants to she wants you to think that she's working really hard, trying her best, being the best mom ever, so selfless and all that kind of stuff, right? And she would get those comments on it like I can't believe you wake up before and you're such an amazing man, right? And then it was that ended up being a lie. 
So now she gets up at a normal time and does that. No one says a word for some reason. Right, she's getting up at six now doing it. And here's the other lie. When she makes hot breakfast for these children, she makes it like an hour and a half before these kids even wake up. Okay, And these kids aren't even eating that stuff. In the morning when it's breakfast time, you know, especially for the littles, it's Cheerios for one, it's toast for one, sometimes they want pancakes, sometimes they want bacon, sometimes they want this and that and the other thing, but they never ever, both of them, rarely ever want the same thing, okay? Imagine 11 kids now, and she makes the same thing for 11 kids. Now, I understand she, people are like, well, that's, you know, that's her being, oh, you better eat what I put in front of you, but we know that's not who she is. She doesn't do that either. These kids don't eat that. She has 400 boxes of sugar cereal in the cupboard behind her. That's what they're eating, but she lies about that. Now, I don't know why she lies about that. It's weird because in other videos, she'll show you a chocolate shit fountain that we laughed about the other day that she feeds her kids after school. Like, just don't lie. But because here's the reason the lie is there. Because she wants you to think that she's this super mom who's making hot breakfast and kids just deserve the world. But Alicia never lets a thing go by in their lives. No event, as even as mundane as breakfast, go by without filming it for you, for fans, for the internet, for strangers, for haters. She does everything possible, everything that this woman does, everything, including shopping, including hair, including nails, including talking about their septic tanks. Everything is for you to consume. Nothing is sacred for her. Nothing is private for these kids. Nothing. No birthday, no Christmas, no celebration, no event, no sporting thing. Nothing. Nothing is off limits for her to share with strangers on the internet. And these kids are the subject of it all. If Alicia took her kids off this channel, she wouldn't survive. Now, she's sort of backed off a little bit of making the videos about them. She still does the birthdays and Christmas and everything else, but it's not as much, which is great. But it's not that. But all that does is prove that her content crashed and burned, and it did. Big time. She gets a quarter of the views. She's trying so desperately hard in the back end of YouTube to cancel me, get me, can't like, get me, I, like, she tried to sue me. That didn't work for her. Then now she's trying to st copyright strike me. That's not working for her either. And she's so desperately trying to, now she's coming after my sponsorships and everything else. It is crazy. Okay. And, it, it, she, and because she gives 20% of her money to Sun and Sky Entertainment. This guy takes this criminal that runs that operation. He is a ex-felon or whatever you call that, $22 million in scams and fraud. That guy went to prison for that. That is running her channel. That's the guy that manages Docker and he doesn't. Okay, she never talks about that though, but she has to give that guy 20%. So when his 20% dwindles, of course he's gonna come after me. Like the lawsuits and everything, they want me out of here. They would want nothing better than for me to be gone, okay? But that's it, that's the lie. The lie is, is that everything's copacetic, everything is just normal, we're a normal family. You're not. You've got a felon literally have your kids signed to lifetime contracts. Isn't that crazy? The other lie she tells you is that everything's great, okay, inside the home. You, you, she'll never tell you what's going on because it's not great inside that home. And people are, 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 are even still to this day tricked about what's going on in this home. When N left, that was a big wake-up call for a lot of people, and I'm sure even her fans were like, what happened? Right, because you'd never know anything was going wrong, because everything looked sort of okay, but the kids, when they show their face, especially N, when she shows her face on the camera, we all knew that she was miserable and hated this, and we saw it with our eyes. The same thing we're seeing now with these other children. That same thing we've been seeing as a pattern all through all throughout this thing and the lie that she tells you is that i buy my kids things and so they're happy that's a lie for anybody by the way just because you get a kona truck 10 times a year doesn't make your kids happy just because you buy them absolute bonkers bananas amount of presents does not make them happy because they'll break it and they don't care and we can see that every time they open a gift when they don't care could you imagine getting the amount of gifts that these kids get and not being thankful that's not, that's not to say something about these kids because that's not their fault. These kids are not at fault for not being thankful. That is Alicia who is at fault for not teaching these kids to be thankful, for not teaching the understanding of like being grateful. You're raising children who will not be grateful. Alicia lies to you in so many ways and everybody just eats it up, her fans. And that's why I'm gonna look through these comments section real quick before we get to the other video. You gotta look, it's, it's half and half, and I'm surprised she still keeps some of the comments up because here's why. She's got 105 comments on this video, and that's really telling, considering she used to get thousands and thousands and thousands of comments. Now, I get thousands of comments in my video because my block list isn't 25,000 strong, 
Okay, a hundred hundred comments on a video of a channel with 1.4 million subscribers is absolutely a channel in massive decline. Okay, because they've blocked so many people from being able to comment because there's so many hate comments that that's all that was left. This is what's left. But even of what's left, it's still scary of what people say and funny like this. Zoe's so over it. <laughs> I can tell. She just doesn't like being on camera. Poor thing. Jordan looks kind of done too. The kid that was rolling his eyes. Your kids are sick of being on camera. And then you get these people who are like, I don't know if it's if it's that crazy lady from Australia, Aunt Linda, whatever her name is. Krusty Linda. I don't know what her name is. Lucy. Lucy Boo. I don't know what her name. I don't like her. Okay. But it sounds like she probably has a bunch of sock accounts. She works for Alition. That's probably another lie, by the way, is that she probably hires people to get in there and delete comments and everything else and says, oh, no, I'm not doing any of that stuff. Actually, I don't know if she's ever come out and said she doesn't delete comments, but it's very evident that she does. Like calling Ballinger's videos, 28,000 downvotes, 30,000 downvotes, and there's not one negative comment. Okay. We can see right through that. So this person says, false. Quit spreading lies about other people. I don't watch these people, but quit being mean. This person is watches them. This is a this is a sock account. Okay, they watch. Um, but we need to quit spreading lies when we can see with our own eyes that these kids don't want to be here. Again, that's another lie. These kids aren't consenting to this because look at their body language in this video. They are not consenting to being on this video. They don't want to be here wearing the same damn clothes every single one of them to get out. They have to look at the, the, the amount of work that goes in one of these videos. You think it's simple? It's not. You got to round up 11 kids, get them dressed in the same dang shirt, put them outside, put them in a the line and do this 15 times before they get it all right. Okay, especially when they got to do something like baseball players or something they actually don't want to be. They don't have any idea. She's done so many roll calls of what these kids have been fed the line. It is actually crazy. And those, some of those roll calls are sponsorships, like the baseball ones and everything else. Roll call, what's your favorite baseball player? They don't know who any of them are. And they're just being fed names. That's, that's not genuine. That's a lie. Okay? And they're being paid to do that. She's forcing her kids to be in paid advertising while doing these things, these roll calls. So he definitely is, and Jordan is getting there. Maybe the only uh, still like it, the young ones, but they'll get tired soon enough. We're tired of your whining, <laughs> someone says. Yeah, the haters whine like a bunch of five-year-olds. The haters need to quit being dramatic. See, this is when they just say the haters. Now, you, sure, we can be called haters all you want, because I do. I hate what Alicia does, and so I'm a hater. But, we, get, you know, people are not just haters all the time just for no reason. What is the reason that we are hating on this content? Right? Because these children are being exploited without their consent. And their lives are being pasted all over the internet. Like, there's a video out there. Of someone sent me of Alex. Someone, um, let's see if we can find it. Anyway, there's a video going around um, somebody made of Alex, probably from a school or whatever, where they talk about, oh, it's, it, how did bro have a glow down, right? And they're showing him from his past days where he was severely obese. And then he's, he's, he grew up out of that and became this, like, big, giant football player guy. Um, they're showing, like, the worst pictures of him. And he's putting on this dancing and everything else. And, like, the comments, this, this page... Every post this page made is not all about Alex, but all like memes and stuff. But the Alex content on this page gets hundreds and hundreds of comments of people just disparaging Alex, like tearing him down. And Alex, I think, has said in the past that, oh, he doesn't really mind. But he, it, I'm sure that's going to get to you eventually. It's got to get to you. It has to. And none of that happens unless Alicia's putting him on the Internet and making him famous like this. And then the building blocks of being an influencer into Alex because he thinks that's what he's, he's capable of doing. Right. He's not capable of doing it, though. But he, he, he has this like persona on the internet, like he's badass and he's a baller and everything else. It kind of is. I mean, guy has a hundred thousand pairs of shoes. He's got a brand new Jeep. He's got everything he could absolutely spoil rotten to the core. And that's kind of seeping in through the internet. I'm not asking Al. I don't think Al should be out there saying, oh, don't make fun of me or anything like that. But at the same time, I feel like don't feed into that because that's going to be bad for you. You're feeding into the drama on the internet and you don't, you don't need to be doing that. Right. It's going to come out eventually. The stupid decisions that these teenagers make, and every teenager makes stupid decisions. Okay, well, 90% of teenagers make stupid decisions. And that's just the way it is. But the problem with that, if for these, especially these kids and people like N who left and everything else, is that their stupid decisions are gonna get broadcast all over the internet for everybody to see for the rest of their lives. And that is really dangerous because teenagers make stupid decisions. I know that's gonna sound weird coming from a guy who used to go to church and used to be a pastor and everything else, but you got you, you gotta make bad choices. There are times in your life where you gotta make some choices that aren't the best. It's gonna suck, but those are the those are the lessons that you learn as a life lessons. And so every teenager's if every single teenager is going through the same thing, that's kind of normal. It is, 
But the difference is these kids suffer for it. These kids will have that paste on the internet forever. And with the emergence of AI, I don't know if you see this news thing in, I forget where it was, some state in the US where these high school boys are been passing around uh, corn videos, like nudes of, wi- of girls in their classrooms that those girls didn't post or make take pictures of in general. They're using artificial intelligence to do it. Now, that's those kids are not famous influencer kids. What do you think is going to happen with famous influencer kids? Okay, And these parents know the dangers and don't care. More comments. Bro, Zoe looks like she's literally having the worst time of her life. Stop forcing your kids to do these stupid roll calls. Zoe looks like she'd rather be somewhere else instead of doing another stupid roll call. I don't blame her. She's a kid and she deserves to be doing things she wants to do. And then this person's like, don't, she don't force them, bruh. Yes, she does. You think these kids are going to wear this and come out without being forced? And why does the littlest one get to not have to wear a checkered shirt? Someone's like, what do you think? You're psychic? No, you don't have to be psychic. I'm also not blind. You can see the kid's face. Good comment. Zoe looks pissed. And again, these kids, this is their, could be their protest. Like these kids, that's why she probably has to do them a bunch of times. Cause these kids don't like, it's so weird to me that Alicia allows these videos on the internet when these kids look absolutely miserable. Right. And she's not going to change it because these kids, she's probably done it 10 times. And with 11 kids, they're going to be miserable. They don't want to do it. This is their protest and they should continue to do that. Kids on the Internet, you have more power than you think with your parents who are exploiting you. All you have to do is I think I saw one of the ask me anything about one of the one of the really cool ways one of this kid was protesting being on their family vlog channel was they would wear shirts and stuff that weren't approved or didn't or like were rude or something and the mom just couldn't film had to cut it out every time and that was the protest it was like they didn't want to fight with their parents but they did that as their protest and i thought that was brilliant that's what these kids can do this is a form of protest Maybe some of them look like that because they don't want to be doing it. Nobody needs to see their age roll call. Give them a break from social media spotlight. That ones that the, the ones that don't look miserable have the fakest smile. Then this person, again, this user person who is likely Aunt Stacy from Australia, whatever her name is. I don't watch these people, but quit spreading like they keep saying the same comment over and over again. That's so weird to me. They just keep copy and pasting that same comment all over this. If you don't watch them, why are you in their comments a thousand times with the same comment? It's really weird. Zoe is truly and thoroughly done she was forced to participate i feel so bad for her zoe and many other kids are done there so like this is why i'm so i'm so perplexed at why alicia would put this on the internet is because she has to she has no choice this is content and she has to put it up because people are like we need an age roll call you're answering to fans who are strangers and you're doing their bidding with your children give it a rest mom this is all negative see there's 105 comments and almost all of them are negative so if she were to leave up the ability to comment There would be thousands of negative comments, even of the hundred people they allowed to keep up on this thing, all negative. If she deleted every comment we've read so far, there would be six comments on this whole video. And that would look bad. Well, it looks bad now. See, and she'll respond with, they're all getting old. And she responds with this orange, these orange hearts, which I don't think is even her, by the way. It's probably someone else. A couple good ones. How old are you? Donuts. She didn't say donuts. Someone says cute. And she responds to the good ones, obviously, right? I feel so sorry for those kids. And here's the thing. We can't blame a lot of the positive comments because some of these people might just be coming along and just discovering Doherty Dozen and not understanding who they really are. I think once people start getting in, they're like, oh, I like this for some reason, which is weird. I don't know why you would. But some people are like, oh, I like this. Then they go down the rabbit hole. Then my videos pop up. Then like other people's videos pop up about Doherty Dozen. And then they're like, oh. Yeah, never mind. That's kind of what happens, I think. Okay, let's get to this other one here. So this is posted on the Doctor He Doesn't Expose Reddit page, and it says, please let the Read with Read 83 Foundation see through her disgraceful opportunistic behaviors. This was more disgusting than anticipated. And this is the video they're talking about. Spend the day in Buffalo with us. We are at the Boys and Girls Club where we got to spend time with the kids, plus Buffalo Bills players Trey Norwood, Ryan Vandemark, NFL... Buffalo Bills players don't know how to tie their laces? Mm, Maybe that's why they suck at football. Burn. Hall of Famer Andre Reed and his awesome wife Teresa. Bush Chocolates who donated $10,000 for this brand new reading room as part of the Read for Read 83 Foundation. Big Brother star Brittany D'Angelo was even there and who? She taught the kids a touchdown dance. If you saw our Monday mini vlog, you know we bought books for each of the kids to take home. The Bills gave them a bunch of merch, plus cards, and Fowler's Chocolate gave them each a candy bar. I am so proud of my kids who stepped up to volunteer and hand out all of these products to the kids. And everyone went home. 
They didn't step up to volunteer, Alicia. You told them to do this. They didn't step up to volunteer. F off. Anyway, we'll get to the post. Do you have autographs? So there were smiles all around. I volunteered for years with Big Brothers Big Sisters back in the day before kids. Back in the day. And it was so nice to be back at it. That's it. You're not back at it, Alicia. You're not back at it. You just did this and read this post. She only finagled her way into this event disgustingly for self-promoting reasons. She could have gone to her city's she could have gone to her city's boys and girls club and donated these books and spent time with the kids, but there weren't Bills players with merch and autographs to be f to be for their kids. So she drove 80 miles from her town's club to instead to be an opportunistic, opportunistic scumbag. There's no other reason than plays it off like her kids made her so proud when they clearly benefited too with the merch and the autographs from the Bills players. Those kids left there knowing not about giving as they gave nothing, but once again, they are always on the receiving end. Then her play on words and describing the event like they were... They, her, were front and center major contributors in trying to portray that she was right there in it all is as much Andre Reid. She's a dirty bitch, and she is beyond transparent to everyone except her a-hole fans. This is a great post, and when I read it, I was like, this is such, this this has to be read, and I watched the video, because I was like, I'm on here some sometimes taking a look at these comments. That is exactly what's happened here. Alicia has a, a brothers and sisters club in her own town. So why did she drive 80 kilometers with her children? Because she wanted to meet Buffalo Bills fans, and she needed to make content out of it none of this is out of the goodness of her heart nothing alicia ever does is out of the goodness of her heart it's out of the ability to make content when she made 200 sandwiches that went viral okay she made the sandwiches to go viral and then she's like instead of throwing them in the garbage like she normally would have she's like well we're gonna go donate them to homeless people and then she didn't remember she did a video where she drove over there and it was closed and then she's like i'm gonna go hand these out did she no she didn't that's another big lie, one of the biggest that she's told on this channel, by the way, and it's kind of disgusting, okay? She always portrays to be this person who's giving and loving and everything else, but it's all about content. This is what influencers do. And people who do people who are influencers who do good things on the internet, they do them to film them, okay? And it to a degree, I'm okay with that. Right? I just want you to be honest about it. You got Mr. Beast out here building a thousand wells, helping hundreds of thousands of people. That's on a large scale and he's doing really big things and he's getting paid big bucks for it. That's okay by me. It's even okay by me if Alicia wants to get a whole bunch of things and go donate them. That's okay because you can inspire people to do those. But do it. She lied about it. So she made the, 10, the 200 sandwiches and did these kits and everything else and then basically threw those in the garbage because someone reached out to that place where she said she dropped them off and then she said, they said, no, we don't take that anyway. And no, it didn't. So she lied and got away with it. Then she did her thing where she lied to you guys about every month, she's gonna pick another thing and we're gonna donate money to them. Whatever happened to that? That's a lie. She doesn't do it. And even if she did, she'd be smart to do it because she could write it off as a tax exemption thing. If you go through her whatever. If she donates to her and she donates it, she gets a tax write-off, okay? So whenever you see an influencer doing good things for people, it's good and bad, in my opinion, okay? Like, I love that Mr. Beast did that, and I think he would, a person like him has a massive, massive amount of following, probably one of the biggest followings on YouTube, can inspire others. I would love to go build wells in Africa now. I, I, I think that would be a great idea. I've had that idea in my head for years. I've done it with my church, and I did documentaries in Kenya where he went to. It was great, beautiful place, right? Um, but I didn't do do for accolades, but I, I don't care that he's doing it for cash. He's doing it, right? People out there giving stuff to homeless people, you know, it, a lot, it can leave a bad taste in some people's mouth, but if it inspires others to do those things, yeah, it is kind of like a, it is a gray area for me, but there are some people who do it. You absolutely know for no good reason. They're just doing it for their own selves, right? Dr. D doesn't is one of those people because this, this comment was, is gold in that way. There is no reason for her to drive 80 miles to Buffalo when she has one local that she could have donated books to who probably needed the books. And then saying that my kids stepped up. Her kids didn't step up. She did this. She think her kids researched Boys and Girls Club in Buffalo and said, let's go there and donate. You think that's because we know that's not true. You're lying. Again, Alicia, you're lying. She lies about everything because Alicia is not who she says she is. I have spoken to many people who used to be in Alicia's inner circle. Okay. And every single one of them have the same thing to say about her. She's a lying, conniving, two-faced, opportunistic person. They say different words and languages, but this is who she is. She has nobody left. Nobody wants to be in her circle. So even this mad mama. And maybe it's Alicia distancing herself from this mad mama or I don't know what it is. 
But Alicia tries to leave comments on like Jess Fam's page and everything else. Nobody wants to be associated with her. She is a toxic mess because Alicia is selfish and she is a liar. And in just in this video, I can I can keep going. There's a million lies we could expose. So many things. And in the end, who suffers? The kids suffer every time because they are forced and coerced into doing content. For her likes, her money. Does she put any of it away? Maybe. But you think she'd tell us? She probably would tell us. Why wouldn't she? Right? She spends so much money. I've got someone, again, on that um, pricing out or doing a price from last Christmas to this Christmas, or probably in the new year, we're going to do this big Doherty dozen, you know, let's see what she spent. It's going to be a big video because we're going to, like, unless she's busy deleting things, which we can see in the back end, we can always see if she's deleting videos. And so far I have not seen her delete any video. Like she's unapologetic. It doesn't care. So thank God she's not deleting videos, but her growth curve, holy smokes is low. She doesn't, she hasn't grown 20,000 in the last 30 days. That's a lot of subscribers to me. 20,000 is a lot to me. Okay. To her, that's, that's nothing. Her view counts for the th last 30 days are in the toilet. Remember a few months ago, even like about a year ago, we would take a look at this and it was at 114 million views or something, including shorts. Now she's at 16 million views. That is absolutely bonkers because people are seeing through her content. They're seeing through the lies and they've blocked so many people on her social media that they don't, and again, I don't think she makes uh, like I think she makes her most money on YouTube. Absolutely, I don't think because the creator fund is done on TikTok. If you guys didn't know that, they they can't they're done with it. The only way you make money on TikTok now is if you do ad reads and sponsorships, which she does do, by the way. So she does make a lot of money doing that too. So this is it, and I, I'm starting to realize the more su subscribers and more powerful you are, the more money you make. Like Dylan Mulvaney for the Bud Light thing. I don't know if you knew this. He made a hundred and fifty. Dylan Mulvaney made $150,000 to receive a can of Bud Light with his face on it. That's crazy. And then it obviously cost him like $11 billion in market cap, right? So the bigger you are, the more money you get. They have over a million. I think they have 6 million on TikTok. And Dylan Mulvaney has about 8 to 10 million. So for any ad read they do on TikTok, they're making more money than you'll probably make in a year. Okay, they're making a lot of money. She still makes a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. She'll never stop this. Even if it, like to the point where she just... She'll never stop because any money is good money here for her. Like even if she makes $5,000 a month, which would be the lowest she'd ever seen, she'd still do it because $5,000 a month to, to, to go shopping at Costco is nothing. But she spends more than $5,000 a month at Costco. So I don't know how she's going to offset that. Anyway, today we uncovered Doherty Dozen Lies. I don't need to go through a snarky video because we'll save that for another day. But I thought this was an important video and I thought that was a great post that... Uh, and I thought that was a great post that Anna Marie Daggs made on the Dr. Does Exposed page. That was so telling. And just one more lie. Whenever Alicia does something good for somebody, consider it a lie. Consider it. Consider the why and consider it a lie. It's a good rhyme, right? Why is she doing it? What benefit? What does it benefit her? Because Alicia needs to make herself look good because she doesn't ever look good. And all of it always comes out in the end. And I, I promise you, when the things come out about these kids in the end, it's going to... It's not going to surprise you, but you're going to be like, yeah, we know. And it's it's going to be the craziest thing you've ever seen. So so story time. It's weird. I know I'm doing Dr. Dozen video, but I need to tell you the story. I had this crazy dream last night that the Beastons, like tiny Beastons, like tiny Captain America and the other one, I forget, Tiffany Beaston, they were trying to murder me. I kid you not. Okay. I was in the house. For some reason I was in their house or they were in my house. They came into my house or something. It was like, but I was in my house. It was just a house. And I was like, they were coming in dark of night and I was the only one home. And they were like, I knew they were coming to kill me for some reason. I don't know what happened. It was kind of blurry. And then I got out and he threw an ax through the window, like a tomahawk, old school ax through the window, broke and it right by my face. And I ran And for the whole dream. It felt like hours. I was trying to hide from these people. It was a night. It was like a nightmare. It wasn't like funny. Okay. I rarely have nightmares ever. Like I can't like once, maybe every 10 years I have a dream that I remember that's kind of nightmarish. This was crazy. They were after me and trying to murder me. I haven't covered them in a long time, but let this be a reminder. I should cover them again and laugh at the tiny beasts, but they were after we're going to murder me. He had like, again, tiny Captain America shorter than you think, especially in your dreams. So anyway, with all that said, everybody, please take a deep breath with me. It's a good one. Thanks for being here for these types of videos. I know they're not like the super longest, they're not snarky or anything, but these are important videos. Really important videos because they expose the truth to the lies. And they need to be exposed. 
Because if you don't see the truth and these people are watching them, they're coming along, these 10,000, 20,000 she gets every month, coming along and seeing these videos, it's really important that they see these videos. So they see who they're supporting and who they're giving their social media currency to. Stop giving your social media currency to people who exploit children. Stop doing it. Stop, please. For the kids' sake. You're, you're, you're supporting it by watching it. And so stop, okay? But you guys are amazing, incredible, awesome, and valuable. Don't you ever forget it, okay? Please don't. Your Thanksgiving's coming up soon. I'm very excited for you and your turkey and your... Oh, here's an idea. So you get this little, uh, what do you call those? Mini waffle makers. And you, so you get your stuffing, your leftover stuffing, pour a bunch of melted butter into it, stir it up, put it in the waffle maker, and you can make, oh my gosh, stuffing with turkey in the middle, potatoes and gravy. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just going to do that anyway. So, but you guys have an amazing day and I will see you when I see you.